Yo, what is happening? Happy Motivational Monday. I want to come at you guys with another pandemic that is plaguing a lot of men in this world and a lot of people in this world that's not really talked about. But it's more a pandemic than anything else out there, and that is the porn pandemic. And I'm speaking out of a place because this is something that I've struggled with for such a long time in my life. And as I'm about to step into the next chapter of marriage, it's something that I know with God's grace and His strength, I'll be able to set, be set free and step into that union with purity and power in our relationship because it's something that so many men struggle with it's something that's just so prevalent in our culture but it's not really talked about at all and I want to encourage you guys with wherever you're at in this because the studies are showing that it's more addictive than any drug that's out there people are being exposed to it as young as eight years old and it's literally everywhere whether it be in the music we listen to the movies we watch the commercials that are out there anywhere in our culture porn has really been glamorized and it's something that entices men and women and puts these unrealistic expectations on relationships and that can put you in a place of it never being enough to satisfy you and then you feel depleted and then there's guilt shame and pain and it just traps you and it's really just a poison at the end of the day porn is nothing more than a poison and what it seeks to do is to defile you torment you and enslave you but we can be set free I'm so thankful that as a believer I don't want to give you guys any practical tips without being spiritual because our battle is not against flesh and blood but against the spiritual realm that we live in because what can happen when you expose yourself to pornography you can put these different chemicals into your mind that change the chemistry of your body and allow these addictions to take place and allow you to open these doors and create these soul ties that we were never meant to carry sex is such a beautiful gift and it's meant to bring people closer together and to have a deeper relationship and a deeper connection and intimacy than anything else in the world but the thief comes only to steal kill and destroy and that's what he wants to do. He wants to defile your mind. He wants to torment your thoughts where you live in this place of, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but then you have this guilt, you have this shame, and then you're enslaved to it where you can't break this addiction. Like I said, it's more addictive than any drug that's out there right now, but we're not dealing with it. We're not finding solutions. So how can we find a solution? I look to the Bible, and there's this really powerful verse that is found in the Psalms, and it says, but how can a young man keep his way pure? And the answer is right after that, by living according to your word. If we're living according to the word of God, it's going to create this flow of purity in our life. And pure decisions will create pure power in our life. When we look to Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith, it's going to give us a place that we can fight this battle from a place of victory. The only fight we're ever called to as a believer is the fight, the good fight of faith. So if we have faith in how good God is and how good our relationships are and what they can be, it's going to give us the strength to be able to stay pure no matter what temptations or attack come against us. Like I said, it's something that I've struggled with in the past and I want to be more open, but I want to give you guys some practical ways that you can get your breakthrough. First step is admitting it, confessing it, confessing it to God, but then also in James it says, confess your faults one to another and pray for each other that you may be healed. Open that thing out. Everything that's done in the dark will be seen in the light. So don't be afraid to pull out of the darkness and into the light all of the biggest shame, pain, and mistakes that you feel that you're carrying. Let your brother, let your sister know what struggle you're going through so that they can reach in and help you and pull you from that place of freedom. And as you give that sin and you can confess it to God. He's going to be able to wash you clean and also transform you and give you a new mind so that you're not held on to the shame of your past, to the chains of your brokenness, and you can step into the future ready to move forward and look ahead. Again, there is nothing better than the freedom that comes in a relationship knowing that it's all about that one person. Porn is going to be something that distorts your mindset on what relationships look like. We wonder why divorce rates are through the roof. We wonder why relationships are so confused and jacked up in our day and age. People don't even know how to date anymore except for on a screen and we have these unrealistic expectations that no one can ever live up to but if we can create that purity and find a generation that strives for power and purity and grace and truth it's going to set free so many different people and we're not going to have to see so many men young men and women struggling in their relationships like we're seeing today so i hope this encouraged you i know we're going a little deep on this one but i think the deeper we can go the bigger our breakthrough is going to be and i just want to help you guys experience the breakthrough that I found in my life by bringing this into the light and just trusting in God and finding a new future full of freedom, hope, faith, and love. You!